The time is almost up. So, let me wrap it up here by, and then by, make my main point here, by explaining to you, by reinforcing the main point, by telling you again our main finding, by explaining why this is important, etc. The time is almost up, so I'll end here. The time is almost up, so I'll hurry up and just say, and let me quickly point out here, that when we give our presentation, we may use these words like aisle, here aisle, and then here aisle. Right? We can use these contractions where we make the English word shorter, but usually in writing we would not do that. In formal writing, you would write I will, but in speaking, you can do that. So just watch out. I'm giving you these examples. This is the actual words you would say, not so much the words you would write. With those four points, with those four points, I can now come to the conclusion. With those four points, I can now move to the end. With those four points, Finished, let me summarize. Now this is a great example here, because what are these four points I'm talking about? These four points are the points I just said in the content of my presentation. So that's unit four. So all those four points, a little bit much, maybe the audience is a little bit interested in one point or two points, but some people are not interested in all four points, so I need to remind them, oh, those four points are done, and now let me summarize. Now let me move on and tell you some more. Now let me give you the conclusion, right? So this is a great way to signal that the ending is coming up. Although there is much more, Although there is much more, I know you are all busy. Although there is much more, our time is almost up. Although there is much more, I can't possibly cover it all. Now, this is a great little example because what I'm saying is there's much more. What much more is there? What are we talking about, the much more? Of course, here we mean from the content, unit four, the middle of the presentation. There's many things I could talk about, but I don't have enough time because you're all busy, or I'm almost out of time because time is up, or there's too many points to cover everything, so I'm just covering these points here, and now I'm going to move on to the end. The time is almost up, so let me wrap it up here by, and then after this by, I give you the main point or tell you what I'm about to do. The time is almost up, so I'll end here. The time is almost up, so I'll hurry up and just say, And again, I know it's a little bit uh, tiresome, but let me remind you that I would not be using these contractions in writing. I would only be using them in speaking because they are informal, but they're okay in making a presentation, but they're not okay writing inside your thesis or inside your business communication or your research papers. Do not do that. But in speaking, it's okay. With those four points, I can now come to the conclusion. With those four points, we can now move to the end. With those four points finished, let me summarize. 
Okay, so this is similar to a previous example. We're just saying the four points I had. Although there is much more, I know you are all busy. Although there is much more, our time is almost up. Although there is much more, I can't possibly cover it all. That is a basic review. That is a basic review, and now we can move on. That is a basic review, which I can sum up as. That is a basic review that the time allows. This is a great little example of how we can signal the ending is coming. That here means what we just talked about inside of the content, that. And it was basic. It's not everything. Remember, we can only cover some of the level two and level three supporting ideas for your main idea. So that was just a basic review. Now we can sum up or I don't have enough time to say more. So that's all that time allows. Very useful. I've just covered the basics. I've just covered the basics, but time is up. I've just covered the basics, and now I will summarize. I just covered the basics, and I hope that was enough. As I come to the end, as I come to the end, I want to remind everyone, as I come to the end, it is important to remember, as I come to the end, we should all keep in mind. I like this one because it signals that the ending is coming because I say, as I come to the end. But then it also has this little bit at the end here. I want to remind everyone. It's important to remember. We should keep in mind. This is a great example of how we're going to really make our main point. I'm going to remind you my main point. It's important to remember my main point. Keep in mind my main point. And then here we list the main point.